Before I get to the unboxing and review, I want to mention that there are a few people in history I have more respect for than the Polish underground and the Polish people in general during World War II and the following decades. From the pride they took in not having a puppet government under the Nazis, to the absolute badassery of the Polish underground. And uh, please check out these books. Uh, one is a translation of Wit uh, Wittold Polisky's report on him volunteering to go to Auschwitz to see what was going on there, setting up a resistance in case uh, the Allies would drop supplies for a revolt to his escape and his part in the Warsaw Uprising. Uh, the other book is by Jan Karski, who was a member of the underground and eventually sent to the U.S. to let the world know what he saw. Um, so basically, to, from uh, the badassery of the Polish underground to the Warsaw Uprising, the largest civilian uprising in history, to the feistiness they showed under Soviet influence, to finally Lech Walesa's solidarity movement and Pope John Paul being Pope John Paul II being the heart in the triumvirate that tumbled the Soviet Union. Uh, basically, Thatcher was the brains and Reagan was the muscle, while the Pope was the heart. Um, Two, Poland being one of our most trusted allies today. Poland can always hold their head high, and I have utmost respect for them. So without further ado, I'll get to the unboxing and review. Hi, and welcome to the Melser Mike channel. Today we're going to unbox the P83 uh, Wanod, I believe that's how you pronounce that, uh, from J&G Sales, just to see what we got here. Looks like you get the pistol. Shoots a uh, 9 by 18 Makarov round. Now I went ahead and or you have the magazine inside the pistol. I went ahead and ordered the extra magazine to go with it. I think that was an extra 20 bucks. Then you receive a holster with it, which you pull it up. This flap ever actually comes down and it helps you retrieve your pistol a little bit faster. So, let me uh, get some of the, well, let's see, let's look at this real quick. You get, you do have a pretty sizable import mark on there, but you do have the 11, which means it's from the Radom factory. Now, one thing that you can tell the difference between the military and police version and the civilian version, is the civilian version had a rounded loop hammer on it, so this is definitely a uh, police and military version. So, let me get this, uh get all the stuff off this and cleaned up a little bit off camera and we'll do some shooting and maybe compare it to the P64. And while I'm at it uh, with the uh, P83 I'll just go ahead and do a little review on my P64. I don't remember if I got this from AIM or a Classic Firearm from they were selling a bunch of these earlier but as you can see I kind of got a scratched up one still with the uh, still with a uh, pretty good sizable import billboard on there. But it still has the 11 from the Radom factory. This is 1970. I believe on the, this uh, P83, this one's 19. Yeah, it's 1989. Um, I actually, using a bulldog holster, I actually pocket carried this uh, P64 for a while until I got a Glock 43 for that purpose. Um, I have shot the P63 before, the P80 or the P64 before. The P83 will be my first time today. Um, one thing notorious about the P64 is the double action trigger. Um, it's like people who have the 20 pound trigger measure, it is, it overdoes the 20 pounds. It's more than 20 pounds. So I want to compare the trigger on it and um, let's just see how well it does on the P83. First, I'm going to shoot the P64. Um, like I said, I carried this before, so let's see how well she is. Like I said, it's major. The uh, double trigger pull is. Of course, we have the European style magazine release at the bottom. So you're not going to have a quick mag change on these. Of 
So as I've shot this several times before, I'm not going to waste all my Makarov ammo on this. Let's go get the P83. One difference I can see that I already like is the P64 doesn't have a uh, slide release, whereas the P83 does. So uh, when your slide's held back, um, it's a little bit easier for you to get your pistol ready. Alright, let's try the double try it double single first. So try the double action, see how that it compares. A lot lighter double action pull than on the P64. Again we have the European style magazine release. I do like the uh, the slide release there. So overall, the P83 is a much more comfortable pistol to shoot. Um, some of the reasons for building it is that it is standard in places where the P64 is milled, I believe. So it lessens the production cost, and it is a, uh, as I said, a more comfortable pistol to shoot. So I'd say, uh, you know, maybe quality-wise, if you want a pistol that's like a hammer, get the P64. But if you want something that's a little bit better for shooting, get the P83. If you like what you see, uh, please like, consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Have a great day.